Dawson Reynolds. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a Power Rangers Theory video. So recently, we got some more expansion on the Morphin Masters in Dino Fury when we learned, very surprisingly, that they created the Ninja Steel powers, the Nexus Prism, the Dino Gem powers from Dino Thunder, and the Ener Gem powers from Dino Charge. And that left a lot of us wondering, how could they have been involved in other seasons, potentially? So I thought it would be interesting to sort of go season by season and talk about each of the powers and if there's potential for them to reveal that they were involved in it. I mean, who knows, we could get more expansion on this, especially on a, a certain key ones I want to highlight during this video that I think that we could maybe highlight on, because um, after all, we don't know. I mean, I didn't think, honestly, we would get Origins and the Ninja Seal stuff. I kind of made an offhand comment um, during the preview clip with Mick that maybe they would reveal more about the Nexus Prism, and I didn't really expect them to, but we actually know where it comes from now. So we still have a whole season and a half left, so it's certainly possible we could have some blanks filled in. So let's start right from the beginning. Go Ranger. No, I'm just kidding. Mighty Morphin. So Obviously, we already know from the show that the power coins come from Ninjor, but it's not impossible we could find out that there was some sort of Morphin Master influence. Some people have already talked about maybe Ninjor, you know, was trained with them or something like that. And the other people saying like, oh, Ninjor might be a Morphin Master or Zordon. I don't think that's the case. Now, they're not Morphin Masters. They're just kind of like not servants of Morphin Masters, but like followers in a way. Like they know who they are. Um, so I think it's possible that Ninjor was maybe influence or help. When it comes to the coins, um, I, I always thought it was weird that the guy named Ninjor created the dinosaur coins. So I always kind of wished it was something else where like maybe the Morphin Masters created the original coins and then Ninjor either was trained or was inspired by them to create the ninja versions. But who knows? But there definitely could be a connection, and it also kind of opens things up to maybe explain where the Tyrannosaurus co coin came from during the Dino team up. If you remember when when Devin went to go visit like the Morphing Grid station for Grid Battle Force, it manifested a Tyrannosaurus power coin that was given to Jason. So maybe that was the Morphin Masters that did that, and not the Grid itself. So maybe there is some involvement there. At the very least, maybe the Morphin Masters are capable of doing something like that, which gave Jason his powers back, even if they weren't directly responsible for creating the powers. Then you do have stuff like the Alien Rangers and, of course, other new powers, and at, as of the moment of this recording, it's hard to say. I mean, any number of those could have been influenced by the Morphin Masters. We just don't have enough information, but some of them, all we have literally is a team and a design. Um, the Zeo powers is something a lot of people have brought up because of all the other ones being, like, gem or crystal-based, that maybe the Zeo powers come from the Morphin Masters. But as of right now, in the comics, we do have an explanation that the Zeo powers came from this, like, planet that housed the original power source that was actually cut off by the Morphin Masters. The, that planet and its universe were cut off by the Morphin Masters by one Morphin Master that stayed with it in order to protect those powers from being used by evil. It's possible we could get a further expansion on that. Maybe they were in charge of creating the planet or found it or something, but as of right now, they didn't create the Zeo Crystal. They came from something else, but they were involved with it to some degree because they cut it off. Then you have stuff like the turbo and in space powers, which are basically man-made, like by Zordon. I think there was like a deleted story where Billy helped create the turbo powers or something, and it's just, you know, I think implied that Zordon was given the in space powers to Andros. Uh, but you know, you never know. I want to say this, I don't think the Morphin Masters should be involved in every single power. I like the idea of them creating some artifacts and maybe helping certain teams or helping guide certain teams to create powers, but I don't need them to be involved in every single power. So I'm totally fine with the idea of Zordon just creating the in space or turbo powers, but it's possible that they were helped uh, by the Morphin Masters, you never know. Then you have the Quasar Sabers from Lost Galaxy, which is interesting because we never did find out where they came from, and I remember that there was some rumors or or uh, deleted storylines about they were originally going to have it more tied to Zordon, and I don't remember exactly what happened with that, but they, they deleted a lot of that stuff from early Lost Galaxy, so it's wide open for Origin, and given that, you know, they said in the Dino Fury episode that there's artifacts that were left, that's what Zato said, I could easily see the Quasar Sabers being one of the artifacts, and I would 100% be in support of that. Then you have powers like Lightspeed Rescue and Time Force, which I think are just 100% man-made. Again, I don't need the Morphin Masters to be involved with everybody or even guiding them. I mean, I think it's possible and likely that they monitor those types of teams and maybe in certain situations would offer them aid or guidance, even unknowingly, but I don't think that the Morphin Masters have any direct involvement in creating the Lightspeed Rescue or Time Force powers. Then you get to Wild Force, which creates a unique situation, which is also 
um, something that happens in Mystic Force, not to skip ahead, but those kind of remind me, are similar in a way, because they were powers that were, that didn't seem like the original versions, or like the original Mystic Warriors, or the original Wild Force Guardians had Ranger powers, and then at some point, like Princess Shayla and Udana got connected to the Morphing Grid more concretely, so we kind of like RJ's like a friend of mine helped type of situation, so I don't, we don't know how those work. Again, it's possible the Morphin Masters stepped in and gave like the Wild Force Guardians and the original Mystic Force Rangers or Mystic Force Warriors from the Mystical Dimension access to the Morphing Grid, but I think that's possible. That's like a situation where I don't, like I said, I don't need them to always be involved, but I don't mind the idea that maybe the Morphin Masters engineered it to help these other forces gain access to the Morphing Grid to aid their goals. But they're both kind of similar because we have flashbacks of the previous generations and they didn't have Ranger powers, which implies at some point between back then and the present day they were linked up to the Morphing Grid. We just don't know how. Ninja Storm's gonna be one where I assume they just made it themselves somehow, just like Time Force and Lightspeed. Dino Thunder, we now know that the gems come from the Morphin Masters, but I do find it interesting, as I've mentioned before, that you had stuff like the Ener Gems and the Nexus Prism, which are obviously very connected to the grid, because the Morphin Masters created them, that basically manifest an entire ranger system, but the Dino Gems needed uh, Haley to make the systems. However, I have a theory sort of about that, that maybe part of the Dino Gems was the, the Morphin Masters directed it towards Tommy. Maybe they wanted Tommy to be more involved. I know the anti-Tommy people are going to be like, let's not make more Tommy worship. But Tommy's kind of a pivotal figure in the Ranger Earth lore. So I could see them wanting to bring him, them back to the, or bring them, bring Tommy back to the Ranger world. So maybe they directed the gems to him and sort of set it up so that he would have to mentor this new team. I think that's possible and I kind of dig that idea for another reason, which I'll get to very shortly here. SPD, I'm going to count as another man-made power. I already mentioned Mystic Force in that Wild Force category, where I don't think that they were created by, but I could see them maybe be a situation where they helped link up these heroes to the Morphing Grid. Overdrive, again, I'm going to count that as another man-made thing for the Overdrive team where Hartford made them. Jungle Fury, all we have is RJ saying he was linked up to the Morphing Grid by a friend. And again, I don't think the Morphin Masters need to be involved. There's people that know about the Morphin Masters and the Grid. Zordon is one of them. Um, those types of characters that know about like the Morphin Grid and the Morphin teachings and all that. So they don't always have to be related to the Morphin Masters. So for now I'm going to say I don't think Jungle Fury was involved in that, even though it's kind of a similar situation to some others. RPM, uh, Dr. K I think 100% invented it. Um, I, some people have brought up why would the Morphin Masters let the, the RPM dimension, you know, kind of go to ruin. I don't know. Maybe they're just intervening in certain cases. Maybe there's some sort of balance that has to be achieved. Also, that wasn't invented when RPM happened. I'm going to say something similar for Samurai, where maybe at some point the, the Morphin Masters could have helped them link up to the Morphing Grid, but again, we don't always need them to be involved. But they were seemingly just made at some point by somebody involved in the Shiba clan. Then Megaforce and Super Megaforce is interesting, because I actually have kind of a theory video coming out soonish about where the Ranger Keys came from, and this part has already been filmed, so I'm not going to amend it. That would require more work. No, but it's kind of discussing a different aspect of it. But it's very possible. I think the Megaforce powers were probably just built by Gosei. Um, but the Super Megaforce powers could have been something the Morphin Masters interfered with. Maybe they left Gosei with a contingency, or left Zordon with a contingency that had this, like, Morphin Grid database, like a break glass in case of emergency situation, and that's where it came from, and that could be very interesting. And obviously, we have the Ener Gems and the Nexus Prism, which have already been explained, and we know for a fact where the Beast Morphers' powers come from, because we saw the origins of how Nate worked on them, and the animal DNA, and the Morphex, and all that, so we know that they didn't come from the Morphin Masters. We know the Morphin Masters observed them, and some people have brought up that maybe they're the ones that brought back Steel as a human from observing it, and I, I kind of like that theory. Same thing kind of going along with the Dino Coin theory with them. And obviously, we know that the Dino Fury powers are created. Um, also, just for some other ones, Hyper Force, um, we know that was built by Time Force, so I'm going to include that in the same category as Time Force. But then there's the Omega Rangers from the comics, which I think there's a very strong chance that they were created by the Morphin Masters. In the comics, it looks like we're going to be getting into some even more Origins lore, and the Morphin Ma or the Morphin Masters, the or the Omega Ranger powers were given to the Rangers by the Emissaries, which are servants of the Morphin Masters. So it's extremely possible that the Omega Rangers powers were some of the earliest powers created by the Morphin Masters, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if that came about in the comic. Now another thing I wanted to talk about just to wrap this up was the Master Morpher. 
Could, did that come from the Morphin Masters? Um, that is one thing we still don't have origins for. When it first debuted, I assumed the comic would expand upon it, but it didn't. But I mean, Morphin Masters, Master Morpher, you just gotta switch the words. That would honestly be a good explanation. And I think two things that I could see being explained in Dino Fury if they do any more flashbacks for the Morphin Masters is maybe the Ranger Keys and then the Master Morpher and maybe even the Dino Coin because it feels like they're checking off a couple of almost like lore complaints and questions that were left over the last few years and the Master Morpher is a big one. I don't want to see a team up where these people come back for it but if there's somehow another lore explainer flashback I could easily see those be explained and I think that could very much fit if again I know like the Tommy people that don't like him are gonna hate this idea but that they wanted Tommy to be more involved kind of like you know Zordon was more involved and they maybe directed the Dino Gems towards him and then rewarded him or gave him the Master Morpher because they would have the capability to do that since they're connected to the grid and all the ranger powers he's had so that is more than likely so for all I know though it's only the three powers we know about that were created by it, the three or four powers we know, and we're just blowing it out of proportion. But I think it definitely brings up some interesting ideas to think about and some interesting lore. And whether it's in Dino Fury or the comics, I hope it's expanded upon because I think it's one of the most interesting things to happen in some time. But what do you guys think? What powers do you think the Morphin Masters had an influence on? What events do you think the Morphin Masters may have had influence on retroactively? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get additional videos. Dawson Ryder, signing.